Hi, I'm Carl from Huawei Developers and welcome to Develop with HMS Core. In this episode, I will show you how to integrate Huawei Wallet Kit into your app. Huawei Wallet Kit is an open capability that integrates Huawei's full stack chip device cloud technologies to provide easy access to digital passes in one place. It allows users to save a wide range of cards and passes, including loyalty cards, gift cards, coupons, boarding passes, event tickets, and transport passes onto their mobile phones for convenient use. After integrating Huawei Wallet Kit, you'll be able to provide buttons and links for users to add their passes to the Huawei Wallet app. All passes can be easily managed and used in Huawei Wallet, giving the user full control. Now, let's get started. First, let's create an Android project in Android Studio. Select Empty Activity, enter your app name and package name, and then click Finish. Now, visit Huawei Developers Official website, go to Console, Huawei App Gallery, select My Apps, and then click New to create an app. Once all the required parameters are selected, click Create. Let's move to the Develop tab. When the dialog box appears, enter your app's package name, which is the name you gave when first creating the project. Now click the Settings icon in the upper left corner, select Manage APIs, and check that Wallet Kit is enabled. Select Wallet Kit from the navigation tree on the left and click the Apply for Wallet Kit button in the upper right corner. On this page, enter the public key you generated with the Huawei RSA tool. Then click Overview and download the configuration file AG Connect Services JSON. Save the configuration file to the app directory. Let's open the build Gradle file and add the Huawei Maven repository. Next, open the build Gradle file in the app directory and add wallet kit dependencies. Then, open the pass info file in the layout folder and add input boxes for loyalty card number, points, and member name. Open the pass data object activity file and add all the required global variables. In OnCreate, set the basic data initialization logic and component views. Next, add a tap event listener for each button. Tapping the buttons will trigger the onClick method, which verifies the received parameters. These can include pass type, issuer ID, card number, member name, organization pass ID, and merchant name. Add the required components and check the validity of parameters, including program name, latitude and longitude, points, start time, and end time. After all the parameters are successfully verified, you can then construct request parameters using the pass builder of loyalty wallet object. Add image data, messages, text data, and location, and construct loyalty wallet object. Next, Add loyalty wallet object and relevant data to intent. Then, define pass test activity, which will be used to open a new page to display operation results. In pass test activity, add the save to Android method to add a pass or card. Configure this method to receive intent parameters and create a create wallet pass request based on the JWT. Next, Construct wallet config, create a request task using wallet object client, and then execute the task. Configure the onActivity result method to receive the response. Based on the response, check whether the pass is successfully saved. We have now written our code. Let's run the demo and test what we've just built. Open your app and complete the required fields. For example, latitude, longitude, points card name and status. Then click Save. When the message Save Success is displayed, you have successfully added the pass to Huawei Wallet. And there you go. You've now successfully integrated Huawei Wallet Kit into your app. That's all for today's episode. Please leave any questions you may have in the comment area below 
or visit the Huawei developers website and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.